Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video we are talking about ballasting track, how to ballast track, and make it look good. So with that said, let's get started right now on how to build a modular layout from start to finish, ballasting track. So today we're going to take a look at ballasting, but before you begin to ballast your track, you want to make sure that the end ties are in, that are these extra ties that you had to take out to connect the rail, kind of like you see over here, there's some missing. So you want to sand these down and slide them under, try to ensure the appropriate spacing if at all possible, and then you can be ready to ballast your area. Now today we're using Woodland Scenics Medium Ballast Gray Blend mixed with a bit of Woodland Scenics Medium Ballast Cinders. So these two are going to be mixed together at just a very small rate, and I'll show you how I do that to get a little bit more of a variation in my ballast and then we'll actually get to ballasting. So just a quick disclaimer, I am not a Oakland Raiders fan. We went to a game one time when I was out in California, but I'm not a fan. And this happens to be the same cup as I used to ballast last time. So what I am going to do is get this medium ballast, the medium gray blend here from Woodland Scenics. I'm going to pour some in the cup and then I'm going to mix in just a bit of cinders. So I'm going to go about I would say five to one maybe even six to one ratio and then I'm going to shake it up. So we've shaken it up and now what you have is a nice consistency and mix of the medium gray blend, which is both light and dark gray, and then the cinders, which is medium as well. So you have the same rock size, but it's mixed in, so it has a nice three-tone appearance to it. So a lot of people asked me on the last How to Build a Layout series how I made my ballast. To get that consistency, that's what I did. Let's go ahead and apply the ballast now. All right, now that everything is mixed up and good to go, we're going to go to start pouring our ballast onto the track. So you put your end ties in, you've mixed the ballast. Now we're going to start the pour. And you just take a cup and you can kind of bend it to get kind of a spout going on. Kind of directs the pour a little better. Limits the amount of ballast that comes out. The idea is to get just enough to cover the ridge from the cork road bed or the foam road bed. And then you're going to move on to the other side. On the other side, same thing. Going to just be enough to cover the ridge here. If you go over, don't worry about it because it's a little harder from this angle, first of all. And we've got more steps to ensure a nice ballast profile. So, Now that you've gotten the ballast on the two sides, you want to sprinkle some in the middle. This is going to fill in the gaps in between the ties. And that black cinders also does a good job of possibly replicating oil stains from the ballast, from the locomotives to the ballast and things like that. So it's not just black cinders, it could be oil stains and dirty ballast, things like that, that it can replicate. That's why I like to use it. So now I've got a one inch brush here. This is a soft bristle brush. And I'm just going down this way across all the ties to evenly disperse the ballast. And then I'm going to work this way to take all the ballast out of the middle that's sticking up. So when you look down your your track, you don't want to see a whole lot of ballast just hanging out sitting on top of the ties because that's not how it really is much. There is ballast on occasion, but it's not a ton of ballast sitting on top of the ties. The majority of it is in between the ties, so just kind of doing a job back and forth of brushing it. So for the side, you can kind of go and create the ballast profile by pushing on it like this. And then the top is a brush this way and a brush that way, getting all that ballast worked out. 
Now lucky for us we have a double main line and that means in this situation that we're going to actually fill this with ballast in between as well. So it's not that big of a deal um, to be perfect in terms of the lines on this side. But what I am doing is pushing the ballast up into the ties and between the ties. And in certain areas there's not enough so I'm redistributing the ballast over to this side here. Just pushing it up in between the ties. So, and then back again with the brush on top to kind of push any that came onto the ties instead of just in between the ties back off. And the process just continues until you have it refined. Now for in between the ties, I'm just going to pour a generous amount here down in between the ties. I'm going to let the peak come up over the each side of the cork road bed so there'll be a little bit of a valley of ballast but overall there will be ballast covering the inside and I just flatten that out as well if you have a double main line that's how you can handle that now I see there's a little bit more black than I'd like so I may adjust my formula and put one part cinder per 10 parts medium ballast or even 12 parts to kind of take out that affluent amount of cinder that's in the ballast here. So now that this is all set, I may straighten it out later in the essence of time, but go ahead and make our finishing touches and then apply that's going to lock this ballast in. So I've modified the end of my shop vac here to just allow a very small portion of airflow for suction and I've just taped it off and made a very small area. I'm going to go ahead and power this on. You won't be able to hear me talk, so I'm just going to explain what I'm doing now. I'm going along the edge and kind of evening up the line. Now, in nature, the ballast profile isn't perfect, so it doesn't have to be a perfect straight line, but I'm just trying to make it a little more even than it is, get some of these stragglers that are hanging out way off of the ballast profile, and clean this area up a bit. any of this down yet um, there's a couple different ways you can do it if you want to lock it down first one I'm going to show you is kind of a two-part a little bit longer but a more budget-friendly way if you're really trying to stretch out your bucks <clears throat> you put get a misting spray bottle put a cup of I mean like a lid of alcohol in the water and the rest of its water so just a little cap full of alcohol and water. You spray down the ballast <clears throat> and you're going to want a nice mist because any large spray will actually displace the ballast so get a misting one that does a real fine mist and then you're going to take a mix of 50-50 Elmer's glue with water so, so Elmer's glue, 50 part or half <clears throat> one part Elmer's glue, one part water. I put it in something like a uh, squeeze bottle like this detergent bottle and then you actually bead the glue down after you've soaked it all with the alcohol water that's one way but that takes a lot of time and I've got a ton of track to ballast I've got over 300 feet of track to ballast so here's the easier way I take a bottle of scenic cement from Woodland Scenics here I take the Woodland Scenic Scenic Sprayer, I take the sprayer off the top there, and I put it directly on the Scenic Cement, and I shake the Scenic Cement really well, per the instructions. I 
I turn it over to mist or spray and you can use this for the, your all your layout all your scenery to seal it in so I'm going to start spraying it now you want a don't want to be up close too much because you are going to displace your ballast. The sprayer is a mister, but it's a powerful mister up close. It will displace your ballast. So you just saturate it through and through. You don't have to put any water or anything to dilute it. It's got everything in here ready to go. So bam, where it would take two, two or three steps plus mixing stuff with the other method. I've just sprayed this and I'm good to go. So now I wait for this to dry and I have ready to go ballast, rock hard, and that is how you ballast on the layout from start to finish. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to ballast track. If you have any questions, as always, shoot me a message through YouTube or my email or my Facebook page, uh, which is facebook.com forward slash HO Scale Product Reviews. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time right here on my channel. Take care.